live to be 150 years old? And the answer is no, probably not in any of our lifetimes. Um, we are essentially programmed to only live to be a maximum of about 120 years old. Okay, uh, And that lines up pretty well with the Guinness Book of World Records. And strangely, even the book of Genesis chapter 6 says that God numbered our days to be 120 years. And so it doesn't seem like there's much we can do to get past that at this point. What happens is uh, every time our cells replicate, the chromosomes get a little bit shorter. And remember, chromosomes are, you know, the bundles of DNA uh, inside the nucleus of our cells, right? So every time they uh, copy each other and multiply, they get a little shorter, and they can do this about 50 times. And then after about 50 times, they lose the ability to copy again, and then that organ fails, and we die. Well, you might think uh, genetics is, you know, advanced greatly in the past couple decades. Uh, isn't there some way that we could, you know, lengthen the ends of the chromosomes to uh, prevent them from doing this? And strangely, there is. Uh, in fact, there are even very specific cells that don't shorten after they replicate, after they go through mitosis, uh, for all of you high school students. Um, they're cancer cells, uh, so that's very disappointing. Uh, the cancer cells replicate out of control and, of course, grow into a tumor and then kill you. Uh, so that's disappointing, is that if you can stop them from shortening, uh, you've simply killed yourself another way. So that's frustrating. Amazingly, back in the 90s, uh, I think some researchers were able to suppress uh, an aging gene, you know, not the whole chromosome, but just a specific gene, and they were able to get worms to live like twice as long. So that was pretty exciting. And then when they tried the similar technique on mice, they got the mice to live like, you know, a third longer. So that's like a 100-year-old person who lived to be like 133. So, okay, that's pretty amazing. Uh, could we get this to work in humans? <sighs> Again, that's quite a leap because, of course, we're quite a bit more complex than mice. Um, but maybe, maybe in the you know future, maybe in the 50 years from now, in the year 2070, this will be all the rage of you know old people will be getting uh, their aging genes suppressed or something and living longer lives. Uh, it's hard to tell. We don't know what the future holds, but not right now. Remarkably, some researchers at Harvard Medical School were able to reverse age the cells in the retinas of mice. And this is pretty amazing. So if you could, you know, target reverse age cells of a particular organ, well, that means that as you got older, you could reverse age, you know, your liver, you could reverse age your heart, you could reverse age your lungs. And that would be remarkable because now as one particular part of your body started to fail, you could heal that part and then that would lead you into longevity. Now, could you do that with the brain? Again, the brain is so much more complex than any other organ. And quite frankly, we don't even understand how the brain works in so many ways. So that would be the, uh, the Mount Everest of you know, our body's functions to get us to age longer, to go past that 120-year limit. Now, again, could we ever break through you know, the ceiling that God has set for us? I don't know. Say your prayers. And don't touch your face.